morning folks getting to be a little less snow all the time temperatures are still a little on the cool side it was uh, I think 16 18 something like that this morning I don't know what it is now not a not a lot higher maybe 20s but uh, we don't have much snow left just keep waiting for the weather to warm got a lot of things to get going on but one of those things is uh, the, the shed down here the fairgrounds is doing that remodel job this spring uh, tearing out the restrooms and the big storage shed that I got a ton of stuff in and I got nowhere to take it so today I've got several wall tents and things today I'm gonna put up one of those wall tents and uh, probably try to get a little bit of that stuff out I don't know if I'll get further than that today or not but at least I'll have a place to put some of it but anyhow not a whole lot going on my cousin Seth is here for a visit we went looking for some wolves yesterday and took a big long drive and uh, didn't find much but had a good day uh, didn't find any wolf tracks so we sure saw a lot of elk and I'll put that in here now Cousin Seth come up to look for a wolf. We haven't had any luck with that. We found this old mine. If it's one, I think it is. I f we found this about 10 years ago. And uh, I couldn't find it again. It's got bars on it. This one, I believe, had an ore cart in there. I don't see any tracks though. This might not be the same one. I wonder how far back it goes. It's timbered. I don't like timbered mines. Wood rots or <laughs> rock doesn't if it's hard rock. This from here back though looks like hard rock. I'm not sure this is the same one we found before or not. It's been about 10 years or more. There was an old compressor parked outside here. It's not here, so I don't know if it's the same one or not. I don't see any antlers. Well, at least we saw something. Mm -hmm. We got a long way to go. Yeah. Looking at me, <laughs> <laughs> at least half a dozen, probably more on the other side of the ridge. But you never know what I might want. 
about to count the ones that are behind the trees, but what about you see them all? Well, I don't know if I see them all, but I see a bunch of them. Yeah. Huh. Everywhere I'm looking, there's more popping up. Hard to find them in the viewfinder, though. Yeah, I didn't count. That upper one there, that's not a ball, is it? No. Really blonde, it's probably just the way the light's hitting it. It does look blonde, but I can't tell if it's, I mean, it doesn't have bones on it. They shouldn't have dropped just yet. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen somewhere you could see that they dropped. Really? Up close, yeah. Yeah, it seems early, but I guess they could have. I know some guys are cleaning up already. That real I mean, bottom that, one, too, is really bright. That's a big elk. Oh my god, that wind. Yeah, that wind is cold. Whew. <laughs> Okay, we got the tent up. Uh, this long pole here, <laughs> that looks kind of goofy. I need to either find a shorter one or move that down a little bit, cut it off maybe. But it'll work. Uh, need to find a plastic tarp or something to put over the top of the roof. The plastic helps waterproof them and it keeps the snow sliding off if we get any more. Hopefully we don't, but if it rains, it'll help protect the tent also. But, if I put a few shipping pallets and things in there, I can stack a lot of this stuff out of this shed in there. So, that ought to help. I love wall tents. I, this is the one I wanted to take up uh, and trap those beaver with this, this winter. But it never did happen. Those wolves that I found, they... They kind of messed up that plan. I, <laughs> definitely not complaining. The, the wolves are worth a whole lot more than the beaver. And then the beaver would have been a fun adventure, but they don't pay very much. Well, maybe next year. Uh, what my plan is, those beaver are roughly 100 miles from here, one way. And so if I string wolf traps along that route, 100 mile long trap line and then put up this wall tent and there's quite a few beaver in there but there's also some people that live back there that also trap them and not only do I not want to crowd in on them but I don't know how many they take and so I don't want to add to that too badly so if I get six or eight of them ten at the very most I'd have to talk with the guy and make sure, find out how many he's catching. Beaver are easy to wipe out. If you overdo it, they're gone. They don't, they don't reproduce very fast, and uh, there's really never as many as what there seems to be. You look at one of those ponds, you think, geez, there's got to be a hundred of them in here. 
there's probably about four, maybe six. There's not that many. But anyway, what the plan was, <laughs> I got derailed there. Um, if you, if I had a hundred miles worth of wolf traps, and then half a dozen or so beaver at the end with a camp, by Idaho law, I have to check traps no more than 72 hours apart. And uh, if I'm going that far, I would push it to the full amount. Normally, I try to check them every two days, 48 hours. And that way, if something goes wrong, get a flat tire, or for whatever reason I can't make it, I got another extra day of leeway before I'm illegal. And uh, that works really well for me, but it does add to the cost of gas. And going 100 miles, actually 200 miles round trip, I can't do that every two days. So what the plan is, is to go down there, check a 100 mile long wolf trap line, check a few beaver traps, spend a night or two, and then come back. And if I check them on the way back, then that adds my three day thing again. I can start over at 72 hours. Uh, so I'd save gas, and I'd have kind of a fun little adventure, have a camping trip. And the beaver are definitely not the goal. They would help pay for the gas is all. And maybe I'd get skunked on the wolves. It might not be a profitable thing at all, but it would be kind of fun. Well, anyway, don't have much going on today, folks, but see you next time. Um, tonight, I don't know how they feel, feel about filming, but uh, tonight is the uh, Foundation for Wildlife Management Banquet. And my cousin, he got us some tickets, so we're going. If they don't mind, I'm going to try to film a little bit of that, too, and show that on here. I don't know. They might not allow it. But anyway, hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.